Oh my goodness. Thank you for being with us. That's right, I found Golden Girl stuff. Oh, oh my you gotta God. Keep that going. <laughs> what's, what's better is oh that gosh. it's the Golden Girls, it but. Is. In Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Bills. Bills. I mean, come on. No, I like this. Emily, you're the Allen to my D. Oh. How about that? Are you buying that for me? Uh, no. <laughs> That's what we're going we're not sharing because, like it's you said, here. that's a little gross. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but yeah. this is also something that you scoped out on the way. This is going home with me. This is going home with I you. Love I do love this. It is a good read. That's mine. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I got to fill my bag, but I have a hat. You have a hat. We're ready to shop, and we're going to speak with, of course, Chris, who's here with the Historic Palace Theater because it's not just about shopping; it's about helping a local treasure. It yeah. is. So tell us about this. So this is so exciting. When we get to do this fundraiser with Rustic Buffalo, we're all about community collaboration and working together. So when Rustic wanted to do this, we're like, let's take this artisan market, put it in an old historic theater. We just did this multi-million dollar renovation it's and we gorgeous. want to show it off. Yes. We want to show it off. Mm -hmm. I know when you walked in, you oh, were like- It know, took me back, yeah. Chris. It took me back to my childhood. And that, we used to come here and do events. That's the exact reaction that yeah. we want. We want community members to come in and experience what they did as a child and yeah. just remember, you know, that old, that old historic nostalgia during the holidays. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And being able to stand here on the stage, it is literally transformed. I mean, it happens during regular sure. production, but this is different. I mean, you literally have Christmas. Christmas North <laughs> Pole Christmas on the everywhere. stage. We have taken every square inch of this building and brought this in. And I think that's a fun, unique thing that yeah. a patron gets to come up on stage and see from a, an actor's point of yes. view what it would be a little behind it's the scenes. It's an scene. experience. I love that aspect when you see a show. Uh, Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, so tell people what goes on here throughout the year because when they walk in, you have a five dollar fee. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So for Rustic Buffalo, um, it is a five dollar fee to come in, and then that generally goes right back to the theaters as a fundraiser. We are a multi-use performance um, space, so mm -hmm. we do musicals, concerts, we do dance recitals, and um, just all kinds of different unique things. If you're looking to have a fundraiser or uh, a wedding reception, you name it, we will do it. So we take all of those different kind of programs, spread them out throughout the year, and just continue to educate the community on the history, and then also promote um, arts education with our youth programming mm -hmm. and theater school stuff. It's a wonderful thing, and we love to do it. You know, yeah. it's a gem of the city, and we love to open our doors and share our story. So when people come out for this four-day event, mm -hmm. is there anything they should be looking at in terms of this historic location? That they should not just be looking down at, of course, all this beautiful <laughs> stuff they can be buying for folks, but also just in, in, in enveloping themselves within the space. That's exactly it. Take the opportunity. When you're walking around the theater, you're going to get to go in areas you usually don't get to go. So yeah. see what it looks like backstage. Look at the murals on the ceiling, that kind of stuff. It's key. It's beautiful. Yeah. And we just love that we can experience that with you. Such a great investment, right? Over the past several Absolutely. years. You know, we were built in 1925 and we have struggled over the years with grants and everything like any other historic building in Western New York. And we're very proud. We just finished a, a $4 million renovation. Yeah. And we do it for the community. We do it for you, for the patrons, and everybody that wants to come and experience that. We're going to have Joel actually pan out so he can show you. It's beautiful. It it's just beautiful. The, the view you would get while you're shopping on stage. When we did this, there's a difference between a renovation and a restoration. You can renovate like your kitchen at home, or you do a restoration, you restore it. We wanted to restore it back to what it was in 1925 and give that feeling, that look, that smell, oh, everything yeah, of what definitely. it was like in 1925 yeah. for your theatrical experience. Yeah. Now, you know what I said when I walked in and I smelled the popcorn and it <laughs> took me back. Yes. What do yes. other patrons, when they walk in, what do they say since the renovations? It's similar stuff. They talk about how they had their first date here. Oh. They had their first mm. kiss here. They remember coming and seeing a movie with their kids and now their kids are grown up in college and married with their own kids. That's what it's about. It's this togetherness and we get to be a small part of that. How sweet. Yeah. Like what better holiday story than that? I mean, you're literally experiencing something so worthwhile with the family, but also doing amazing things like buying holiday presents. Absolutely. Right? Oh my gosh, what an experience altogether. And I think we all agree, shop local, stay local. That's, that, right. that's a thing. So every artisan that is here, you know, this is helping them to, you know, with their holiday season, their families it and matters. stuff like that. So it works out for everybody and we're just excited for the weekend. We are too. Oh my gosh, still so much more to talk about because in just a bit, Mercedes and I are going to be going up into this beautiful balcony area. Is that, what is this area in the back called? So, so we have the balcony here and then there's the mezzanine The area. mezzanine area. Yeah. Yes, there mm. might be some food tasting involved. Oh. So we're gonna tell you all about that as a little preview to see what you can get over the next four days. So stay with us.